As physicists try to explain the masses of particles, they found that if they just tried to inject the mass into the mathematical equations in the most straightforward way, just put a parameter for the mass of a particle right into the math, the math didn't work. It gave rise to quantum mechanically inconsistent features. So it was recognized that you needed to have a more subtle way of introducing mass into the equations that would not spoil the fundamental symmetries, but yet would allow the particles to have different masses. You see, fundamentally, the idea is that all particles begin life as being massless. There's a high degree of symmetry associated with that. All of the particles have the same mass, zero. How do you inject mass without spoiling that symmetry, which is vital for the equations to make sense? The Higgs field does that. By immersing everything in this bath, this molasses-like bath, it turns out that the equations allow you to have your cake and eat it. The fundamental symmetries are deeply preserved, and yet the way in which the particles move, experiencing different resistance-like drag force, allows them to have different masses.